right, you're welcome back to Time with the Captain, your monthly business mentorship program right here on TV3. Tonight we've got our audience from the University of the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. Uh, these are students from the business school and they're here with us uh, tonight on the program. My guest is the managing director of Zen Petroleum, Mr. William Tillier. Uh, so, William, before we went on the break, uh, you were telling us about uh, your greatest challenge in business and you talked about the fact that you thought that you were quite frustrated about the way people thought that Ghanaian businesses um, do not match the standard of international companies and that's how come you see your company as not only you know a local business but a global business you've been working in the petroleum industry for quite some time now um, are you satisfied with the level of um, support been given to you by government um, I think one of the things that um, that I'm quite proud of is, is um, it is, it's a very recent announcement that this, this government is pushing something called local content in the petroleum downstream sector. I think that, that can make a very, very big difference if we rise to the challenge. It's one thing the government saying they're going to promote local content and try to develop local businesses. But as soon as they do that, the pressure is on us to start delivering to a good standard. If you start buying your fuel from a, a Ghanaian OMC like Zen or Goyle or uh, you know, Allied or any other one and we are not giving you the best products, we are not giving you the best price and the best service, you are the same ones who start calling you know, the multinationals back. So as soon as the, the, the road is paved for you or created for you, the path is created for you, there is a lot of pressure on us now to deliver. Um, so as much as it's a good thing and as much as we're happy about it, it puts a lot more pressure on us for, for, them to vin for us to vindicate the, um, that policy direction that's been created for us. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a good thing. I think there's always more that, that can be done, but, you know, everything can be done in small steps. And I think that's a, um, that's a big small step, if you can call it that. You know, and the, the, the challenge now has been thrown to us as Ghanaian businesses in the downstream sector to rise to the challenge. Mm. There's this biggest talk uh, you hear from managing directors and CEOs and lot, uh, and the talk is that you know, a lot of the students that are coming out from the universities these days do not meet the, the industry standard, you know, what the job market is looking for. Do you get that impression as well? Um, I mean, ye yes and no. You know, like, like anywhere else, some of them might meet the standard, some of them might not meet the standard. What is the standard? What are the CEOs looking for? Um, CEOs are... Uh, are they first class? Uh, not, not necessarily. I mean, you're looking for a mixture of things. I, I never went to university myself, so I'm, I'm not there. I'm not going to sit here and start judging somebody who is who's at least gone through, gone through the curriculum. For me personally, what I look for, the skills that I look for are... Uh, you know, you have to be honest, reliable, hardworking. Those things for us is mo a lot more important than, than a fancy university degree. You know, the university degree is the icing on the cake. Um, if, if, you're, if you're very clever, you've been to university, um, you know, you've been to a good university, you've learned something out there, of course, you know, you're going to add more value. Um, but it doesn't mean that without a university degree you cannot, you cannot add value. Um, and as I said, the qualities that I look for is, is hard work, you know, um, people who are willing to go the extra mile, you know, people who want to be honest and transparent. Those are, those are a lot more valuable skills for us. These are values. They're values, yes. Um, university is all academics. I mean, I've, I've, once you're done with university, now it's, you, you come to practical experience. And um, if you don't have those values, your university degree means absolutely nothing. You know, if, if you come out with some fancy degree and you can't turn up a work on time, you're just wasting your time, and you've wasted your time going to school as well. Who has a microphone? My name is... No, no, use the microphone. It's not my